I'm Leah and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you what you've been waiting for. In fact, you've been waiting so long for it, you probably forgot you were waiting for it. I'm sharing with you the hair products that I've been using as part of my new hair regimen. So this is probably the third video within my hair regimen series. It's supposed to be two videos, but it's ended up being three. And that is because in the first video, I shared what the structure of my new hair regimen was going to be. In the second video, I shared that I was tweaking my hair regimen. So you can catch both of those videos by using the links that I've included in my description box below. And in this video, I'm sharing what the products are that I'm using in this tweaked hair regimen. Now I would love to say that the products that I'm using are the finals and this is it and this is exactly what my hair regimen is going to be, but I unfortunately cannot do that. And that is because I have some products that I still need to try out and I haven't been trying them out because, well, COVID-19 closed all the hair salons and I was having to stretch my relaxer a lot longer than normal and I really didn't want to introduce some new products that could then make that stretch harder than necessary if I knew I wasn't gonna be able to go to the salon whenever I wanted to. Enough preamble, let's go ahead and jump right into the hair products. I'm going to go right through my hair regimen, starting with the pre-poo all the way down to me like finishing with drying my hair and moisturizing and sealing. So we're just gonna go in the order of how I would use the products. Starting with my pre-poo. Okay, so I've been using a few different conditioners for pre-pooing over the last few months and one of them actually rose to the top and is the one that I'm kind of using pretty much now exclusively, and that is the Carol's Daughter Cocoa Cream Curl Quenching Conditioner. It's meant to be used for very dry hair. I have hair that tends to be on the dry side, and I love how thick it is, I love the smell, I love that it's protein free, and how it just makes my hair feel all the way around. So I've been using the conditioner by itself as a pre-poo, but I've also been mixing in some natural oils as well. So some of the natural oils that I've been using, which is basically whatever I have on hand when I'm doing my hair, is coconut oil, Jamaican black castor oil, olive oil, and sunflower oil. So let's talk next about cleansing the hair and let's talk about co-wash first because I only got one of those. And the co-wash that I have been using is the Cara Care Moisturizing Co-wash that has Jamaican black castor oil and coconut oil in it. I think it does a really good job of getting my hair feeling refreshed when I use it. I don't use it in place of a shampoo. I usually use it as um, a substitute for a regular shampoo. So I use it during midweek if my hair is feeling extra dry or if um, I've been like sweating a lot and I just need to get some of the gunk and stuff off of my scalp and my hair and just make it feel refreshed and good again. Next up are the shampoos, and I've actually got three of them that I'm going to be talking about. The first one is the TGIN Moisture Rich Sulfate Free Shampoo. This one is my favorite shampoo. It's my main shampoo, and I use it every single time I wash my hair because it cleanses my hair so well that it doesn't, and it doesn't strip it of any moisture. It feels so great after I use it. Now the other shampoos that I've been using I also like but not as much and they serve a different purpose. So one of the other shampoos that I've been using is the Joyco Moisture Recovery Moisturizing Shampoo. My stylist recommended it to me. It's what she's been using on my hair when I go to the salon. Um, I like it. I don't say, I can't say that I love it enough to justify the price. I think it doesn't do as good a job as the TGIN shampoo does. So I don't know if this is going to stay or not, but right now I, I, I like it enough to rotate it in every few weeks. And the third shampoo that I'm using on my hair has actually been for clarifying purposes. And that shampoo is the ORS Olive Oil Moisture Restore Creamy Aloe Shampoo. Now that shampoo, it does a really good job of really clarifying my hair and getting a lot of product buildup off of it, but I don't feel like my hair has been dried out or completely stripped of anything that is actually good for my hair after I use it, which is kind of crazy. You think it would, but it, it doesn't feel like it does that. When it comes to the ORS shampoo, I only use it every so often. I think I've used it maybe every three to five weeks. Um, just because I don't need to clarify my hair all that often. I think the other shampoos I use do a good job of getting rid of most of the products and dirt and oil that I have in my hair. But if I feel like it's starting to, my hair's starting to feel a little different, um, it might be a little way down or it might have done something that I feel like my hair just got really, really dirty. I bring this out and it gets my hair back to normal. 
When it comes to the Joyco, I rotate this in every couple of weeks. Um, and I use it in conjunction with the TGIN shampoo. So what I do is TGIN, this gets used every single wash day. And I will use either the Joyco or the ORS first for my first wash. And then I follow up with the TGIN for my second wash. All right, the next step in my hair regimen is actually an optional step. It is the rinse out conditioner. In my video where I shared my tweaked hair regimen, I talked about how this is going to be an optional step, but I will share with you what two products I have been using so far because I hadn't decided between which ones they, uh, which one was going to be the final, but now it doesn't matter. So I have here the Carol's Daughter Cocoa Cream Curl Quenching Conditioner, which I talked about before. So yes, I have been doing double duty with it, which is um, what you kind of like to have with some products. And the second product is the Natural Mother's Green Tea and Wild Apple Blossom Butter Mask. And I did a whole video on this, which I'll link for you down below. You can see why I like it. Next up are the deep conditioners. I have two of them. Um, my moisture-based one is the Carol's Daughter Cocoa Cream Curl Quenching Deep Moisture Mask. And it is essentially, yes, the sister, cousin, relative, whatever you want to call it to the rinse out conditioner that I talked about. I really like how moisturizing it is. My second deep conditioner that I'm using is a strength-based one. And for now, it is the Eden Body Works Almond Marshmallow Split and Repair Mask. And why do I say for now? Because I've found it harder and harder to find the product in the store. So I'm not sure if Eden Body Works is phasing the product, even the whole almond marshmallow line out. So I'm not even sure if I'll be able to find this product to continue using it. So we'll see. Okay, now this is where things get a bit tricky. Once I'm done with washing and conditioning my hair, then it's time to apply the products for my roller sets. And I haven't quite figured out what those products are, as I have several products that I've been just trying to use up that my hair likes, but I wouldn't say is in love with. And um, so I haven't quite settled on exactly what those products are, but I will tell you the ones that I've been using more often than some of the others. First up we have here, the Mayel Avocado Moisturizing Hair Milk. Um, I like how light this is. I've been using it quite a bit and I actually bought a few more bottles when Mayel had a sale. So I've got like probably three or four of these sitting around. So if I don't love it, too bad. The other product I've been using a lot for my roller sets is kind of an oldie but goodie for me, one that I've talked about in a few other videos, and it is the It's a 10 Miracle Styling Serum. Um, it does a good job of getting my hair feeling nice and kind of silky. I really like using it. It's a little bit pricey though, so I'm not quite sure how that's going to fit into my hair regimen. I probably ought to like total up how much my hair regimen costs. The third product that I've been using for my roller sets is one that I know is going to stay because I've done a review of it. I really love it. I've used it anytime I've used any kind of heat on my hair. And this product is the Mayel Montgungal Oil Thermal and Heat Protected Spray. Of the three products I just talked about that I use for my roller sets, the thermal heat protection spray from Mayel is the one that I know is definitely going to stay. We're almost done. I've got three more products and these are the products that I use on a daily basis to moisturize and seal and I kind of alternate between a couple of them just based on what my hair is kind of feeling or needing at the moment. First up I have the TGIN Green Tea Super Moist Leave-In Conditioner. And then next up, I have the TGIN Buttercream Daily Moisturizer. I tend to rotate between the two because the buttercream is a lot heavier than the leave-in conditioner. My hair likes both of them, but when my hair's really dry, the buttercream does a better job of getting my hair feeling moisturized. And when my hair already feels moisturized, but I'm like, I'm not gonna let my hair dry out, then I like to use a leave-in conditioner because it's a bit lighter. So I tend to rotate between the two. I like both of them and I can see them both moving forward um, with my hair regimen just because I've been using them for a while and have only seen good results with them. And last but not least is my sealing oil. And right now I've been using the TGIN Argan Replenishing Hair and Body Serum. I don't know if this particular product is going to stay in my hair regimen just because it's kind of hard to get. I've only been able to find it like on Amazon 
and TGIN's website. Like I can't actually go to a store and get it like I can some of the other TGIN products that I use. So I don't know that I'll be using their argan oil going forward, but I found that my hair really likes argan oil, really responds to it really well. So I'm going to keep using it, but I just will have to find a brand that's got a good argan oil that I can go and get in the store. All right, everyone, that is it. Those are all the products that I've been using in my hair regimen right now. Some of them are ones that I know are going to stay. Others are ones that I am not quite convinced with, but everything that I've been using has been working for me right now. So I'm not really looking to upset the apple cart unless something makes the apple cart more sturdy. Now, I want to hear from you. Share in the comments down below if you've tried any of these hair products. Did you like them? Did you not like them? Are there products that you're using in your hair regimen that are different than mine? I would love to hear all about that, so leave it in the comments down below. And if you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and like it. Also, share it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.